Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy and Putty God is back at it again. So for today, we have a very interesting unboxing. We got, I guess, another fake, or I don't know what to call this really. Um, it is a Chinese spinning top toy. And as you guys can see, it looks a lot like Valkyrie. So in this video, we are gonna unbox it and just figure out what the heck this is because to be honest, I don't even know what it's called. Anyway, without further ado, make sure you guys represent hashtag putty squad. Can we reach 200 likes for this crazy, interesting mystery unboxing? I think we can boys. But another thing I wanted to mention is that I did get word of this from Drake TV Beyblade. So they actually unboxed this already. And luckily I was able to find this through a Chinese website, but if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't know this exists. So big shout out to them. I will link you guys to their video as well as their channel. I want you guys to go check them out and subscribe if you haven't already. They are almost at 5,000 subscribers and I think it would be awesome if we can get them to that next milestone. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna get to a close up right now and I just have a lot to talk about this because this this to me is really kind of just interesting. But yeah, here we go. All right, so this is a closer look at the package here. And another thing I wanted to mention is that the seller did include a free stadium. So this is a pretty small stadium. It's about, I'd say six inches wide. Um, it's made out of a pretty tough plastic um, but it is pretty flat, so I don't see it being very good for anything. There's that. Now we're back to the packaging itself. This thing has some pretty cool artwork in the front, but if you guys can't tell, this design really does remind me a lot of Valkyrie. Anyway, as far as I understand, this is made by a company called um, Aldi. You guys can see that. Um, I guess they make another series called Infinity Nato, which has its own anime and everything. So this is borderline legit stuff, but I do think it is definitely heavily inspired by Beyblade. Um, I mean, just this design alone does scream Valkyrie to me. So see it, or I guess see it however you want. I'm not sure if I want to call this a fake, but at the same time, it kind of does resemble Valkyrie. But there's the front. We see the character here who, um... Has like his launcher and it comes with a launcher of some sort um this box alone is just really big by the way and then on the top we see the avatar who looks really sick he kind of looks like a uh you know gundam or anime character i don't know but it looks sick um and then some extra logos that i don't understand now keep in mind this whole thing's written in chinese um it shows some cool stadiums which i also saw on the website so i might buy these later i don't know they just look really cool and then on this side we got information as far as like moving the parts around how to customize on the back even more detailed information that i unfortunately can't understand um but if you guys see here it consists of like five pieces so that seems pretty cool um and it seems like its own like dedicated system so i do think that this is like like i said pretty legit um, and then it says right here, Infinity Nato. So it must be some kind of Infinity Nato type thing. Um, and then it just mentions like some gimmick here. So I don't know. I just think it's really interesting. And you know, it wasn't that expensive anyway. I think I paid like three or $4 for this. So pretty cheap. But now we're gonna get to opening it. We got some instructions. And then the whole thing here just is packed in bubble wrap. Um, I don't know why, but you know, they really went all out with the packaging, but then inside it's just like this massive thing. So we're gonna take a look at the instructions and it shows how to put it together. I would, or I think I'm gonna need these cause it looks a little confusing. And then we got some kind of tool to use and then the launcher itself. And this thing is heavy as heck. I don't know why it's so heavy, but we're gonna figure that out. And then there's some kind of piece here, must be one of the pieces to the top. Um, so we're gonna open that up. Yeah, so this looks like some kind of head piece. Um, it must be to like lock it in place. It looks a lot like Valkyrie, let's be honest. 
Um, but here we go. We got the whole top already assembled with the launcher. The launcher itself. I don't know. Let's see if we can pop this out. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So we are going to look at the launcher first off. Um, this thing's pretty cool. I mean, it looks a lot like a Power Rangers kind of toy. Um, it seems to be fully functional. It's got two buttons to launch and then a handle and a string. And the string, it feels really, really smooth. Okay, very good gimmick. And then this piece seems to free spin. So, wow, I'm impressed by this design. Plastic, um, th the plastic feels really good, like very durable material. And now we're gonna get to the top. So this thing is already assembled. I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to take it apart and see what I can do. So we're gonna try that. Okay, so it was not that hard to take apart. Um, so this does come, or I guess it consists of about five pieces. Um, yeah, let's get into this though. Uh, we got a whole mix of parts here. I don't even know where to start, but um, basically we got a tip. This is a yellow kind of flat three-sided tip looks pretty cool and then we got this kind of plastic ring with three wings three yellow wings that move a little bit the bottom is pretty round and then we got a plastic ring consisting of even more wings these are just painted on though and it's just a solid piece of plastic and then we have this other kind of tip looking thing this one's more flat and clear. And then the center, which is this heavy metal piece. Um, it feels really solid, but it's a little bit jagged and just really shiny. Lastly, I already showed you guys this piece and that consists of the top itself. I've been looking at the instructions and by the looks of it, you can launch this two different ways, which is pretty insane. So um, we're going to show off the first mode. We're going to put it together. I'm going to try to put it together to the best of my abilities. I honestly don't know what I'm doing, but we're going to figure it out. All right, so your boy is back after a short while. I put it back together and it was a little bit confusing, but I figured it out. Um, so I guess you do need this piece to put it on the launcher. The only thing I don't understand is if it fits, then why do we need um this like headpiece i don't know what that's for then maybe it's just to make it look cool but without further ado we're gonna launch it um this launcher like i said is actually really really like good it feels great but um it just kind of sticks on by a magnet it seems so if you just like put it right there boom it just locks in doesn't fall off very very secure i wish takartomi did something like that but um then we just kind of have to pull the string so we're gonna figure it out. So that was pretty easy, guys. Um, you kind of just get to rev it up and then push the button and let it launch. All right, so we're gonna stop it right there. Um, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get a Cho Z Bay. We'll use the stadium just cause, but um, let's see how it competes. This thing is just really heavy. I think it's going to be really powerful. But yeah, let me go get my Chozy Bay. All right, so I'm back and I got a Chozy Emperor Fornius Kartomi. We're going to battle it against this thing, which I still don't even know what it's called. But here we go. Look how stable that is. See, that's kind of scary. Here we go. All right, I launched that Fornius pretty hard, but I, I think it's gonna like outspin it. Jeez, those are some hard hits. And it looks like Fornius did lose that round. And we're gonna do one more round just cause. Um, yeah, this thing is, I don't know. It feels kind of deadly almost. Here we go again. All right, 
We got second round going on. The stadium is a little too small and flat, like I said, but hey, I mean, it kind of gets the job done. Can't complain. Oh my gosh, guys. That thing just got slaughtered. Um, geez, this thing is very stable and very powerful. There's no other way to describe it. Okay, so I went into this thinking it was going to be some kind of cheap bootleg, but it ended up being a very high quality. The launcher, the top, even the stadium it included with for free, everything checked out pretty well. Um, and it seems to be very powerful and just heavy. So that's really awesome. Um, once again, though, this is just kind of like a legit thing. It seems like they have their own website and everything. And I think they even have an anime. So I'm kind of surprised about this. Like to see China come up with this, it's pretty cool. Um, and once again, though, this does seem a lot like Valkyrie. So maybe I'll battle it against Valkyrie in a future video. Let me know what you guys think I should do with this thing. Anyway, that is it for this unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And do stay tuned for more fake videos on the way. I got some more fakes already. So we're going to be unboxing them in the next few days. Anyway, until next time, guys. See ya.